Hello, fellow spark drivers. Hope you're doing well, staying safe out there. We're finally done with the snow for now, but I uh, had a lot of black ice for a while and have some small towns around here. So sometimes it'd be very icy, lots of slush and that. But uh, I wanna talk a bit, and this is nothing I typed out. You see in my other videos, I'm reading from my iPad. I type out a script. I wanna talk about tips specifically like tip baiting because in the reviews that's mentioned a lot and spark do they keep some of the tip like we're showing what we get for the trip plus tip but then you don't get that and i know it's back and forth and it's confusing because if there's something wrong with customers order they could retract the tip they could reduce it but the problem is we don't really hear about that stuff one time i got a text message saying that an item was damaged which is good to know, but again, specifics. So if customer, if something doesn't go well for them, for whatever reason, it seems like we should know exactly what. So they relay that information to Spark Supports or when they rate and review the experience, and we should know exactly why. So that way, when we check our ratings in that, the customer rating, we know what went wrong. So if it's something that we can fix next time or just be more aware of, maybe it's a common issue with a certain item, just something to pay attention to. But the problem is we just don't get that feedback. So if the customer takes away our tip and we have no idea why, I mean, it could be tip baiting, which is unfortunate, but that does happen. I've certainly seen that happen. Because the idea is you put in say $10 for however many items, and uh, let's say it's not even many items. So you bait the driver in, that way they'll accept your order right away. And then you deliver, everything seems fine. But again, it could also be an issue of something was broken, but we just don't get that feedback. So any customers watching, please be advised, like we just don't get that information from Spark, from Spark support, I mean, we have a breakdown of our scores, but they're not really detailed. So just keep that in mind. And uh, But I understand if somebody dropped off something in my door and something was broken, it's like, why would I tip you? And it sucks to have to retract the tip. But at the same time, it all just goes back to communication. Like we should know why you, the customer, took away the tip for whatever reason. Like drivers, you know, people who don't follow the delivery notes, they don't check them. That I understand. It says, don't knock on the door. Don't ring the bell. I've The dogs will bark. The baby will wake up. I see those from time to time. And I pay attention to that. And on the way to the door, I keep saying in my head, like, don't knock or ring bell. Because they could take away a tip. So drivers, just keep in mind, don't just write it off as tip baiting. Because if you follow... If you don't follow the customer instructions, the notes, just keep in mind, then you can understand why they'd retract some of the tip or all of it. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping we just get more detailed information, you know, because like with Uber Eats, I also do that. And customers can leave a review. Um, I believe they can say if something's broken or missing, which helps. Because then we can relay that to the store and uh, it's just easier, but it's kind of surprising this day and age that we don't have more information given to us. So uh, customers, we appreciate you. And uh, drivers, yeah, tip baiting, again, that is a thing. And it's unfortunate. And I don't think it's a smart thing for people to do. You know, say you're starving you'd be like oh i'm gonna put in a 30 dollar tip and then once they drop it off i'll just retract the tip that's not fair and also keep in mind if that keeps happening like we see the address come up and we're like oh this person tip baits like i'm not gonna accept that order because i know what they're doing so uh you know people probably have notes like this address that address that name they tip bait so it's not smart because drivers will catch on. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but just see, we can't really blame anyone in this situation because all these things happen for whatever reasons.
but the best thing you can do is just think back and like oh did I forget to check the notes or oh I wasn't supposed to knock you know for whatever reason but just the little things can make all the difference and uh, you know I've been very fortunate I think I've encountered tip baiting I, I can't think of any specifics maybe like once or twice but again if something went wrong you know if it was uber eats or spark delivery like that information wasn't relayed to me and that's unfortunate so as time goes on as we get new versions of the app i'm hoping we get those specifics and the people can actually write reviews you know and keep it minimal kind of like twitter and that don't have like unlimited characters allowed but just something to let us know exactly what went wrong because if something was broken or damaged and we know we didn't break it we can relay that information to the store and if everyone's on the same page as far as you know what we do like as drivers we could say well we didn't shop or load the order so that's on them if they load something that's broken and that way everyone's on the same page so I'll be like oh okay but you delivered everything you didn't break anything nothing was damaged upon the loading so let's say you get to keep most or all of your tip and that way the store can receive the feedback the complaint about the item or items being damaged or missing because missing items i mean that's on the store hopefully not accusing anybody but uh, any missing items because you know on, i have this uh facebook group that i joined a while ago and i let them know and you see people post about you know delivery services and that that they work for and they let them know hey we only get like two something an hour or three something or for uh sorry not an hour but for delivery and uh or actually yeah even for an hour if you're just delivering for a company and that they say so that's why we appreciate tips just so you know this is what we earn but you also try and let people know exactly your job like because I had to make someone aware that we sometimes get offers for shopping and delivery and they weren't aware of that they said by the way the the tip does not go to the personal shopper I said yes unless we get the offer to shop and deliver so I hope that spark support if somebody from there sees this and again just so everybody's on the same page it seems like something really easy to do just to let them know like hey this person shopped your order and delivered it so that could help up the tip you never know but just little things like that so i'm hoping we see that with this app and uh yeah so i think that's it for now so uh again i mean it could be any of those things and uh, I know it's frustrating, but you know, you, you get done with the delivery and then you see the tip, it's gone or it's not as much as it was the pre-tip. Call support, find out from them because we should get that information like, you know, emailed to us. They'll be like, here's the breakdown. Here's what happened. This is why, because if it's not our fault, then the customer should know you know, the part that we play in all this. Not that we want to overwhelm the customer with information, because you want the experience to be quick and easy. How was it out of five stars, any notes, stuff like that, but also just keep them updated as to what exactly we do. So I think they should be aware if we're shopping and delivering. Again, because that could increase your tip. And, uh, so yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. I'd love to hear from you. You guys leave some comments below. Any stories, tips, and advice that you have. Things like that. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I have links down below. I post when new videos are available. So I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Keep on sparking.